Hello, my name is Nabil. Uh, today I'll be explaining how to add an IP communicator to the call manager. First of all, before adding the IP communicator or before uh, adding any telephone to the uh, call manager, you have to go to the serviceability and just to make sure that uh, the call manager service is running and as well the uh, TFTP server is up and running. Why that? Because as you know that the phone will take the configuration file from the call manager or from the TFTP itself so that's why we have to make sure that the TFTP, uh, the TFTP is running. As you can see here Cisco call manager and Cisco TFTP both of them are already up and running. So just getting back to the same ad administration which is the uh, the point that we can add the phone from it um, as you can see here that I'm having uh, a demo license and I'm using this call manager and VMware installation uh, that means I'm just using uh, a VMware uh, to run the call manager on by going to device and then phone here you can just choose that I need to add a new phone uh, then you have to choose which type of phone do you have so right now I'm using the software one which is called uh, Cisco IP communicator and then just go through next then you will having an option to choose whether you need to use which protocol skinny or SIP uh, skinny uh, it's a Cisco proprietary it stands for um, skinny client control protocol and SIP this is open standard one which is stands for session initiation protocol so I'll be using skinny <coughs> here I have to put the uh, the MAC address for the phone I'm using an IP communicator so this does not have it's not a physical phone so it does not have uh, a physical MAC address however I can use a virtual one by just taking this one copy or I can just use my own one just creating any MAC address <coughs> and just copy it and paste it and that would work fine and here you will choose which way of communication you can connect to the call manager for example if you're using Wi-Fi connectivity or uh, like Ethernet or something so right now I'm using a VMware so I'll be choosing VMware virtual Ethernet adapter for VMNet1 and uh, just taking this uh, virtual Mac copy and then putting the TFTP in order to let the phone take the configuration from the call manager and then press OK in order to save <coughs> just going and add the MAC address here, the virtual one and uh, choose the three important points which is the device pool and the uh, phone button template and the security device security profile because if you try to save without adding these it will give you an error you have to add them right now the phone should uh, register correctly without uh, a telephone number or directory number just waiting while it's loading right now just get to the phone and give it a restart by pressing asterisk asterisk hash asterisk asterisk you have to do it a little bit quick as you can see that the phone has been registered correctly if I would like to add a DN which stands for directory number uh, as you can see I'm having here eight lines which is this is actually the eight lines in the phone one two three four till eight so I'll be choosing for example button number two on the DN and just add a telephone number 900 uh, and then press save the phone right now should flash and giving 900 for uh, the line as I choose <coughs> as you can see here it's working fine <coughs> I hope that was uh, helpful for you and thank you for viewing